Thank you. Uh, listen, I think I know why you're excited. The midterm elections are upon us. They are 11 days away. I guess I was wrong. Not excited about that, but they are. It's a big... Well, I don't blame you for being a little apathetic. I mean, wow, what an election this is. The Republicans are putting up a slate of election deniers and oafs and crackpots and crooks. And, <laughs> and the Democrats uh, have a guy who recently died of a stroke. So... <laughs> no, uh, it's... <laughs> no. Not die. We're, we're not making fun. But if you saw that debate in Pennsylvania, the Dr. Oz against John Fetterman, uh, he did recently have a stroke, uh, Fetterman, and he is still a little shaky. Uh, that debate, ooh, uh, neurologists call that condition Herschel Walker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's some buttes in this election. Oh, Herschel Walker, another one. I cannot keep up with this guy. Another woman came forward to say that he paid for an abortion. This guy has provided more abortions than Planned Parenthood. <laughs> it's a, one of the popular costumes now for kids in Georgia is that the kids go out with a ghost costume and a sign that says, Herschel paid for this. It's, uh, but that... <laughs> Well, that was, or hopefully still is, a big issue in the election. Abortion? Nothing. This crowd is... <laughs> nothing gets this crowd. No OK, well, uh, <laughs> out there in America, I'm telling you, it's a big issue. It came up in the uh, Fetterman debate. Dr. Oz said about abortion, it should be uh, something that's decided between a doctor, a woman, and local political leaders. <laughs> well, this is going to be new for women. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the mayor's office. Yeah, listen, I, I missed my period. Um, <laughs> yes, I'll hold. <sighs> but the big news in uh, the uh, tech world, Elon Musk has now taken over Twitter. <laughs> and probably will put Trump back on it. Uh, Trump said uh, yesterday, he said, Twitter now, he says, is in sane hands. But that's also what he said when Kanye bought a school. Uh, so...